Nelson Mandela, Mother Teresa, Barack Obama. These are all former winners of the Nobel Peace Prize. The 2021 winner will be awarded in Oslo on October the 8th. Here's a look at how the award works. The prize should go to the person who's done the most or best to advance fellowship among nations, the abolition or reduction of standing armies, and the establishment and promotion of peace congresses. That's according to the will of Swedish industrialist Alfred Nobel, who was the inventor of dynamite and founded the awards. Björn Wangen is a librarian at the Norwegian Nobel Institute. On a general basis, you can see that the Peace Prize is given out not for being people being angel saints, but for people making enough effort to make a better world, a better organized world, and a world with less war and more, pe more peaceful co coexistence between the peoples. Thousands of people can propose names. Members of governments and parliaments, current heads of state, university professors of history, social sciences, law and philosophy, and former Nobel Peace Prize winners. This year, there are 329 nominees, although the full list will be kept locked away in a vault for 50 years. Who decides? Five people from the Norwegian Nobel Committee are appointed by the Norwegian Parliament. Members are often retired politicians, but not always. The current committee is led by a lawyer and includes one academic. Nominations close on January the 31st. The committee establishes a shortlist and meets roughly once a month to discuss the nominations, usually making a decision at the beginning of October. This year's Peace Prize. What does the laureate get? A medal, a diploma, 10 million Swedish crowns, which is about $1.1 million, and immediate global attention. Who's on this year's list? Norwegian lawmakers surveyed by Reuters have included Swedish climate activist Greta Thunberg, Ministers from all over the world. Belarusian opposition leader Svetlana Shivanovskaya, jailed Russian activist Alexei Navalny, and the World Health Organization. The 2021 Nobel Peace Prize will be announced just three weeks before world leaders gather for the COP26 climate summit. Henrik Erdl is the director of the Peace Research Institute Oslo. There are a few other candidates this year that I think the committee would consider. Uh, there is all, the, the, one of the most important questions these days, of course, is, uh, is climate change, with uh, the IPCC just launching their sixth assessment report, demonstrating that this is the major global threat that we're facing. And I think some uh, individuals or organizations working for uh, climate change action would be uh, strong candidates.